It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. On today's program, we get an update from Midwest Dairy. On today's program, visiting with Vice President of Sustainable Nutrition at Midwest Dairy, she is Leela Fawes. The topic is uh, talking about recent meetings, some in-person and virtual events, showcasing dairy's important role in nutrition and on-farm sustainability practices, especially with um, what you, I guess you would call it thought leaders and, uh, you know, those sorts of people. First of all, what is a thought leader? Why does Midwest Dairy engage with them? Yeah, thank you, Chad, for having me. And that's a great question. So thought leaders are people who have the authority and influence to shape the opinions of others. Examples might be university department chairs, uh, could be a lead health care provider, or the executive director of a nonprofit, to name a few. I will say that at Midwest Dairy, we target thought leaders with expertise, especially in sustainable food systems, as well as health and wellness. Because we've learned that if you build trust in dairy with a thought leader, they help to influence others, including consumers, to have trust in dairy as well. And then as we develop these relationships with these individuals, they will use their voice or influence to endorse dairy through our partnerships. Sometimes that is through a retail campaign to help boost dairy sales. It could be a social media campaign to reach consumers directly. Or sometimes it's a conference opportunity where they support dairy by sharing what our farmers are doing to take care of their animals and the planet. Tell me about some of these events that uh, Midwest Dairy has hosted, especially in the health and wellness and, and thought leaders that are kind of in that world, if you will. Yeah, and thank you for asking that. And we do typically approach our thought leaders as health and wellness thought leaders or sustainability or sustainable food systems thought leaders, and we have different strategies for both of them. For our health and wellness thought leaders, this year we have hosted three webinars and one in-person event. We typically cover topics such as how dairy complements plant-forward eating patterns, which is something that consumers are very interested in knowing. Uh, We talk about the health benefits of fermented dairy. We also talk about the importance of dairy during the first 1,000 years of life at these events, which have all been very positively received by medical professionals that attend. Uh, Additionally, we have integrated sustainable farm stories into each of these events, especially within our webinar experiences and our in-person event, we were able to bring a farmer in person. And what we've learned is that our pre-event surveys show a lot of the individuals have a positive perception of dairy's health benefits, but they tend to be a little more skeptical when it comes to dairy's environmental responsibility. So by featuring a dairy farm story in these events, we've been able to successfully shift the positive perception of dairy's environmental responsibility by over 30% in each one, which is great. Most recently in October, we did host a multicultural themed event at the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo in Minneapolis, where dairy farmer Margaret Johnson in Minnesota presented alongside two other expert presenters. The attendees walked away with a much greater understanding of the cultural relevancy of dairy, the importance of dairy in those first thousand days, And we also saw a significant shift from 55% positive to a 93% positive sentiment toward dairy's environmental responsibility. Very interesting. So you said that's around health and wellness. And I also heard you say it's a little bit different when you talk about uh, uh, sustainability thought leaders. How is it different? What do you do in, in those situations? Yeah, when it comes to these kinds of thought leaders, we've learned that it's a very fast growing profession. And because of this, these individuals find opportunities to learn about sustainability and to network with other thought leaders to be extremely beneficial. As you heard in September with the recap of the Nebraska Dairy Crawl that one of our staff hosted uh, as part of some of the several in-person events our staff have been hosting this year where they bring together thought leaders to learn about sustainability through the context of dairy and they have an opportunity to meet like-minded individuals to ideate how they can continue to partner together in other settings. In Chicago, we brought together 20 thought leaders from throughout our 10 states for a one and a half day conference in July. And in that opportunity, uh, folks had the chance to meet each other, of course, for that networking. And they heard from four Midwest dairy farmers who are able to share what they have done in uh, innovations around manure management, feed additives, water recycling on farms, how our dairy cows can upcycle byproducts to divert waste from landfills. They learned about robotic milking systems, cover crops, and more. 
And what's great about this event and other events like it is that we were able to showcase that no two farms are the same and that every one of our dairy farmers does the best they can with the resources they have available to them. Also, similar to the sentiment shift that we've seen in health and wellness thought leaders, this proved to be an effective way to shift perception amongst the sustainability thought leaders. Going into the event, only 50% of attendees rated dairy's role and environmental responsibility is positive. At the end of the event, however, 100% of the responses were positive toward dairy in the post-event survey. So this proves to be a very impactful way to increase trust amongst our thought leaders. If folks would like to get more information, is there a place that they can go and kind of read up on some of these things and, and the other interactions that Midwest Dairy is having? Yes, we post many of our interactions on our website, midwestdairy.com, which you can visit. And you can also contact us through our website as well and reach out to your local uh, farmer relations team member if you are somebody who works already with Midwest Dairy. We'd love to share more. All right. Very good. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much, Leela. Again, Leela Fawes is Vice President, Sustainable Nutrition with Midwest Dairy, joining us on these uh, consumer, uh, on these interactions specifically with um, uh, thought leaders and influencers uh, out in the, uh, in the general public. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting.